Uh, we just did some practices. Tell me about you. Yeah. Again, the breath is different. I don't even know how to describe it. It's more than just a deep breath. It's something else with the breathing going on. Okay. Yeah. What else? What else is going on? How do you feel? What's your sense of things? A little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of being here. I'm not quite ready to throw a party, but ha, ah, ah, it's a little it's like it's saying acknowledge the world a bit. Like if I went on to my front porch, I might say, "Ooh, what a nice garden!" And it's just sort of appreciation going on for me. I'm just giving you my examples. Yours are yours. Okay, very important we catch the difference. Ah, okay, let me check my notes, see where we are here. Ah. Okay, for example, uh, more people are walking these, whoops, more people are walking these days. Uh, use the walking as a balanced practice. So left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Okay, now don't do every step if it's too busy. Okay, but let's say uh, you acknowledge that step and that step, and you count them off. You say left, right, or one and two, or something. Just to experience, count them off, and then you don't do anything with the next two, and then the next two you count off. You feel and count off. If you try to do every step, it tends to get kind of busy. All right, we don't need you to crowd yourself or get harried or something. So when you go for a walk, use that as a balance practice. You've got a left leg and a right leg, okay? You've got a left side of the body and a right side of the body. After a while, it'll, it'll start to uh, incrementally grow. First, you might just start with the foot, left foot, right foot. Then, then after a bit, no, no, it's the left leg, right leg. And then after a bit, oh, it's the whole left side stepping, right side stepping. It'll by itself naturally increase. Now, uh, because we keep missing the camera, we keep missing the important piece. Uh, stop on your walk, pause, check out what you feel. Go back to this guy. What you feel after walking? Uh, what whatever uh, part of your walk? Uh, and then continue with your walk. And again, someplace along the way, after a few minutes, stop. Just hang on, feel yourself. You know? Ah, stretch a little bit, feel, breathe, sense who who are you? Uh, what using the left-right walk as a as a reference to this guy. And that's the part we continue to miss. We don't check in with this guy. See what we do, Aikido. It's like, how'd you do the technique? And well, it's out there, out there. We don't do enough here. So you do some techniques left and right, but someplace in there we ought to stop the class and say, everybody, feel yourself. We should do that like once every 10 minutes at least. And I never do it, and I always kick myself. I keep thinking of doing it in class, and I don't. Well, why? We get so wrapped up in doing techniques, we forget this important piece. This is critical, okay? These are just references, okay? So go for a walk, try it out. <coughs> Check. Nope. Ah. Okay. Two directions. Ah. Uh, for the Aikido types, uh, that boom, boom, boom. I should warm up before we do this. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you've got this, can I call it left side, left side north, left side north, changing right side south, changing that side to this side. So, I'm, I'm doing it left, right, and I'm doing two directions. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you know how to do that? Can you do that? 
do that while I sit and watch and see if there's anything else I want to say. Two seconds. Uh. <coughs> and that side, okay? And that side, okay? Now, after a bit, okay, take a sec. After a bit, the, uh, it, it will want to get fuller. So what I would ask you to do is a little more alive through the fingertips. I call this be a lawn sprinkler. See the water's coming out of the fingertips. Okay, so that's better water flow through the fingertips. We do notice a bit of uh, disconnection from the ground or getting upset from the ground. And that, again, is an of course. Uh, as we use this practice and it opens up in the balance factor, it'll get lower and it begin to include the ground. So don't make a big hassle, a big deal, a big negative hassle over, oh my God, my ground is shaky. Of course it is. <laughs> we're starting kind of high as we come down, the ground will be included. So if we were to keep going, uh, she won't have a problem with the ground. It'll be ground one, two. Ground, ground, ground one, two. Ground one, two. <laughs> ground one, two. Okay, ground one, two. Ground. Getting a little closer to the truth. One trick is to, as you're practicing, a sense of opening. We've used that word before, just opening. So the fuller of this uh, balance practice, the, the fuller of the energy flow through the fingers, and then after a bit, the fuller of the whole body and the ground, ground and the body, uh, uh, will get neat. So if we were to continue doing this, that would naturally uh, happen. Are we okay on that? Okay. Uh, so, uh, oop. Uh, okay. I can't even read my own notes here. Uh. Oh, yeah, Aikido people. Ah, oh. boom, oh. boom, what? Boom, Lauren, what's that called? Ever name? Ikyo Undo. Uh, uh, Kokyu ho, Kokyu ho. Oh, Ikyo Undo. Richard knows what it is. Anybody yeah, Ikyo, can hear me out there? Ikyo Undo. No. Or, or perhaps. You can't hear me. Kokyu Nobody can hear me. Ho. Unmute. Do I have to mute or something? Kiriagi Kirasagi. I would call it Kokyu ho. Or Ikyo Where's, where's Undo. Where's the guy? Ikyo Undo is what I would call it. Noah? There he is. What's that exercise called? Da 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 dee 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 ba boom ba boom. Oh, the eight direction. Ba boom ba boom has a Japanese name. Eight, eight direction yeah. move. Mom, we can't hear you? Eight direction move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, it has a name. Anyway, so again, let's just look at this as a balance exercise. Boom. Boom box. Okay, now watch out for the eye. Oh, yeah, I know how to do that. I can do that. That's an eye taking everything over. You really aren't going anywhere, not really. Easy the eye so that the, this as a re representation of a balance and easy this. So you've got two directions, okay? So we're using 
uh, those two directions as a balance check. So again, fuller, boom, dot, 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 turns, and fuller, boom, dot, 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 turning, fuller, boom, turning, fuller, boom. Okay, now we pause. So that was the balance reference, that away and this away in that form. Easy. Now let's get to the important piece here. For a lot of people, the important piece would be, how well did I do that? No, that's just a reference. This is important. Feel you, breathe you. What do you have now that maybe we didn't have before? With this balance practice, what do we got? Well, of course, I feel uh, more uh, outward extension. That's sort of an of course, because of what we're doing. What else? Do, that's fine. Now, what else do I have? My feeling about myself here. I feel a little more adaptable. So I could go there and yet change and go there. I feel adaptable. I don't feel locked in into a tight alleyway here. Again, these are my examples. What are yours? Because it's yourself we're checking with. I don't want you to mimic myself. You're you. Even though Sensei told me, Nando, I love it that you love me, but remember, you're Nando. <laughs> so I follow his pattern, but I don't try to be him. He's him, I'm me. But I love his patterns, I love his direction, I love his development. But to find me, and I want you to find you. Do not, in a certain way, mimic me. Don't get confused between the practices and the self. Okay? All right? Uh, and for the Aikido people, of course, so we get that way and that way. And then they would add on and it go this way left and that way right. So you get a four Z's. Okay. Uh, so if you're going to do the full Aikido style, do a four Z's. But don't forget, after a minute or a couple of minutes, stop. Experience who you are. Okay, which is different than the activity. Of course, you'll feel like, oh, I can handle things in four directions. Of course, that's, a, that's an of course. But that's the activity. Who are you? Breathe you, feel you, sense you. Who are you? Okay? Uh, and then so we have four. And then we have eight di directions where we, uh, I used to call it cut the corners. Uh, they do the angles for. Uh, and and so if you're going to do the whole series, uh, remember to stop and, and check who you are. And I might do that if I were doing a full series of two, then four, or one, then one solo, then two. Between the one and two, I'd check out this. After the two, before I went to the four, I would check out this. After the four, before I went to the eight, I would check this out. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, feel you, experience you, sense you personally. Ah, uh, ah, okay. We're moving into page two here. And on. Okay, page two is this picture over here can't see it. Uh, anyway, this picture is the same thing, but it's more. So I'm saying here the reference, the balance references are a bit more. So, uh, so here I'll do with a partner. Okay. Uh, just, to, uh, just to, just to get a, a bigger balance pattern going. So, okay. Miss the gotcha. uh, Don't go too far with that. I'll, 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 I'll get lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to step in, step back. Uh, you can start if you want. 
Katya steps in, I step back, okay? And then we could just hang out on this one side for a bit. I step back, okay? Reversing. Steps back, okay? Easy, easy. This is the left. Okay. Take it. Boom. This steps back. Easy, right side. Steps back. Okay, now watch out for the eye learning a technique. Gotcha. I gotcha. There's no self development here. Yeah, you'll develop in, in, these, in these extreme things of being a little faster or reacting a bit faster, but you're not developing. <laughs> okay. So we're using this practice. That's my left side receptive. There's my right side receptive. Check, double checking, we said, yeah, receptive. Okay, and then after a bit, again, that side receptive. Okay, this side receptive. Now she should be doing the same thing with this side positive, noting that and then this side, noting that. So she's doing the same thing. I'm talking about my side of it. I'm practicing step back receptive with a partner. She's practicing step in positive with a partner. We're both doing the same practice, okay? Covering both, both sides. Okay, then, uh, give me a moment, I'll do self. Because you, okay, do one more. <laughs> Receptive left, easy, easy. Receptive right, nice, huh? That was a bit fuller of receptive, okay? Uh, anyway, give me a moment now. Self, that, those were the reference balance things with a partner uh, uh, stepping back or stepping in. And you can be doing the same thing. Check yourself out, yourself. And at first, things might be the obvious. Well, I can give way under pressure. Yeah, of, of course. That's a take for granted. Uh, I can step back easier. Yes, of course, that's a granted. But you're still talking about the tools that we used. I want to talk about yourself yourself. I don't want to confuse the activity with yourself. A lot of people do. That's a whole discussion in itself. Another day on that. Feel yourself. Breathe yourself. Again, a very good, for my example, very good center line. Before I was taller, but here I feel this taller to the ground. It's a ground, ground. It's the center feels uh, full-bodied and deeper. Okay, interesting. What else, what else, and what else? I feel a little wider in the shoulders. My second question there is, yeah, so what? What does that enable you? And with that follow-up, it's like, Oh, I feel more uh, capable. I just feel capable. I don't know capable of what, but I just feel capable. Okay. And then Katya with her positive side would have hers. Do you have anything to say or did you miss that one? I feel on the positive side, like when I develop it, it's more ground, more support, okay. more. Um, okay, so she feels more grounded and having more of her own personal support. So, <laughs> oh. okay, I think we're all right on that. Hang on, what do we have next here? Uh, okay, so there we're dealing with a partner. Can I have a bouquet? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, so a partner and an object, I'm sort of placing those in the same arena. Okay, so up and down. Okay, now the uh, people who almost say I have to talk negative like I do, uh, who don't know any better, we gotta swing it. So I gotta swing this. I gotta swing this faster. I gotta swing this harder. Uh, no, 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 no. This is a balance tool. This body and this tool, same thing as uke nage, two, two things. It comes up and it comes down. Easy. There's an up and there's a down. Easy. If the eye gets in the game, the eye will bring it up and the eye will bring it down. I don't want to go into an eye. Easy. Open. Open. I'm trying to warm up yourself. Easy. This comes up and this comes down. Now I'm aware of the flavor of it. I'm aware that was smoother and it came down sweeter, straighter, something. Kenny, you were nodding. What did you see? You can just see it was different. Okay. <laughs> And this is a guy who hasn't swung one of these in 112 years. Anyway, so up and down is not something I do. The up of it and the down of it is a reference. I'm trying to find the right word. Comes up, comes down. Because of the up and down, who am I? But you're the sword swinger. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's very much. Who am I? Who am I? We gotta come back to self. Okay. All right. So this is easy. Up comes up and down comes down. Now, as uh, as I'm settling and continuing, here's what I noticed. I noticed there was an earlier up. Before this came up, there was a little up movement from under it, like an energy flow coming up. Uh, and I noticed the down has a lot to do with my grounded and, and the ground. Okay, a lot about the ground. It's like I remember in Japan, they talked about uh, holding uh, uh, this one sort of under a bit, uh, uh, I don't know the right words, but under with this hand. And right now I say, oh yeah, that's, that's why they were trying to get folks to do that. Because this ground effect feels like that. There's a re relationship. Anyway, as I continue, easy, easy, uh, let the balance game itself work on its own balance and I'm here in relationship to it but I'm not trying to control it if I control it then it can show me it's up and it's down huh? easy and again after a while you check with yourself see what you uh, what this pattern of balance brings you to. So, uh, so you can uh, swing all day long if you want, but every how many minutes? Five minutes if you're going to swing for a long time? Check with yourself and then, got that, then continue letting this and that. Easy, easy. We're working on this. As we get this better, uh, this one actually starting to enter the fast zone soon. Uh, It'll suck a whistle in a minute or two. I can feel it coming. Uh, as this gets better, your reference gets better. But this is the important piece. See, most people say on their reference, if they get faster, they say, okay, uh, because it's faster, I'm faster or something. And like, no, no, no. Really, really. This is an outer, this is an outer reference for an inner development. Okay, and oftentimes when I get up, they go the other way around. How strong was my technique? How far did I throw? 
uh, how hard can I hit? I was like, yeah, that's a reference. I'm aware of it, but that's not why I'm doing what I do. I do what I do to get a better sense of self, a better experience of self. Okay? Yeah? Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. My God, and all you people had Bo Ken's close by. <laughs> wow, you must really be Aikido's. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, can I have that back? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Camera? Yeah. We're at the golf course. <laughs> okay. Same game. Same. Uh, it comes back. It comes back. This is the opposite side of it, or the partner to it. Comes back is one, comes forward is the other. Again, the tighter eyes will screw this up, and they'll come back to the gato, but I want to hit that ball. So their back is a little often half ass, because it's not back, it's I'm going back so I can hit this ball better. Okay? Uh, there's no development there. That's why you see uh, guys playing golf for 20 years who are still uh, uh, cutting up the grass out on the golf course, still topping the ball, still now with the screwing it up. So it's the same pattern. This whole thing and that whole thing easy, clear, open, so that that naturalness, that partnership between the back and the forward can happen. The ball will get hit. That will be included after a while. It will get hit, but if you try to hit it, you're starting to interfere. I'm in the way of this balance practice. Okay? Yeah? And then you get, uh, so anything, a uh, tennis probably has something similar, but it's not as obvious, uh, can hit the ball, right? But notice there's something before you hit the ball. I think that something should be studied a lot more or experienced a lot more as a partner to that. There's probably a hell of a lot more going on in that part before that part than a lot of tennis players have noticed it should be a whole in a certain way art in itself the back part of it <laughs> before the hit okay so uh, be clearer on the twosies on the balance practice right uh thank you uh, okay physical and aikido miss kacha <sighs> Back to two bodies. Okay. Uh, just body, body, easy. And this is receptive. And this is positive. Okay. Again, might be an over tendency for a lot of people to work on the to work on the technique to learn how to do the the technique better. Okay, yeah, a little bit of knowledge that you step in here and you turn there. Yes, 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 of course. But it's a balance practice. So there's body to body receptive, body to body turning positive left side and then right side uh, so uh, uh turn you're right turn all the practices catch where the balance is some are very obvious <laughs> you know that's obviously a receptive this is obviously a positive and do it as a balance practice where you're uh, facilitating allowing more of the balance so easy and open, so fuller of the balance. See, this is, okay, 
That was receptive. Yeah. That was receptive. You see a lot of macho guys, they can't do receptive. <laughs> All right, they're just so into the positive. Uh, they almost hate this part. They're just doing it so they can get to this part where they can really show how positive they are. No, it's a, using the balance so the fuller of receptive, mm -hmm. you see? It even catches it, huh? huh? <laughs> the fuller of receptive and its partner is the fuller of positive. Uh, so I'm using them as a balance reference, okay? And then again, after a bit, it'd be like, Okay, I did, uh, what was that, your tate? I think I'll finish with you, sit there. Uh, and how, how am I doing? And at first it'd be, well, I did the technique pretty good. Yeah, 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 of course. But I'm really talking about I self, about me, 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 separate, could I say, from the examples of balance that I'm using. Feel yourself, breathe yourself, sense of yourself. Again, your own words on that, but that ought to be clear enough. Yourself. Okay. Separate from the forms that you use. If you say, well, myself says I'm a pretty good shihonagir, that's not what I meant. But I'll accept that. Of course you're going to say that. Okay, but I really mean more of self, feel yourself, breathe yourself, what's your sense of things? Who are you now? If you're like, uh, maybe a good way of saying it, you're a different person now. Who are you? I kind of like that. You're a different person now. Who are you? Okay, I feel adaptable. Okay. And let's continue, open up some more. Who are you? After doing all that stuff, who are you? What's the essence of you? I like that also. What's the essence of you? And sort of related to this technique, but I can take things and guide them along better. If I were in business, I'd say I could. I could take a new person in the company and mentor them better. Closely related to the technique, but I'm actually sense feeling that. You got the game? Oh, we do have time. Ah! Oh, that was too. Okay. You know what? Ah, I've got a lot more to cover, but I don't have the time. What if uh, that was two, two sheets. I got two more. What if we do the next two sheets next week? Okay. Yep. But as long as we got a couple of minutes here, uh, let's do open mic. Ah. Open mic. You there, Bob? Bob, your no, mic's not have, open. Yes, Nancy, I'm here. Did you hear Nancy, me? You there? Did you hear me? Yes, he's there. Sassoon's there. Roy? Roy? There yeah, I got it. Open mic. Bob, are you hearing anyone? And yeah. I'm, I'm thinking everybody else is hearing uh, uh, Bob No. Yeah. Any comments on this? Uh, using balance to check self? I don't think Bob's hearing us. Yeah. You can't hear me? What? I don't think Bob's hearing us. You, you can't hear us, Sensei. I can't hear him. Yeah, you can't hear us. Peter, your mouth is moving, but I can't hear anything. anything here? Yeah, that's the same with all of us. We're all, we can hear each other, but you can't hear us. Can you hear us uh, now? Uh, our sound is going. Hey, see oh, yeah. if we can correct him some other way or wrap it up. Okay. I'm not good. Can you please stand by? Somebody say something. Is working fine. Hey, Bob. Somebody in there? Hi, Sensei. No. 
Testing one, two, three. No? Bob, can you hear this? Uh, Noah? Can yeah, you can you me? hear me, Sensei? I'll get where it's work. Yeah, I can't hear you. Yeah. Sorry, we're having a different road here. I can't hear you. Let's wrap it up for tonight. Huh? Who's that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Bob, say something. No. Can you hear me, Sensei? Okay. I'm hearing you guys. Okay. Okay, we got a few minutes there. Uh, All right. I was surprised. Let me cut in. Uh, last week, I would have thought there'd be more comments about crossing over. I sort of expected somebody to say, oh, yeah, I was sitting on my bed and suddenly my... Uh, Uncle Louie was there, and he appeared to me. I didn't hear anything. Nothing. No, I was a little surprised. So, anyway. Ah, now, what do you guys want to talk about? Any sense of this balance thing? Better the balance, better the self can begin to come alive and show it's there. Better that's there better the self-activity will will get okay so they work in tandem uh better self better activity better activity or balanced activity balanced activity is easier to catch this and and this will develop or show itself more pretty simple no yeah since uh, this is andreas sure. i have andreas the greek i see you Gotcha. Yeah. So this whole thing about like I was I was thinking about so why do we do what we do with this Aikido and all that and what's the benefit and from my experience is that after the balance and all that I think that what it helps with it helps with uh, helping life run smoother like there's no the the, the relationships between and the interactions between people become smoother through that practice of Aikido. And, and I think that's been the greatest benefit out of everything. That's, yeah, that's what we're trying to show with the physical technique with Katja, the Shihonage, of just doing at a physical level, but at a better level of balance, mm -hmm. I'm better. And then in dealing with other people, it's smoother and yeah. And also since I also found out that while there's a, it, it seems to be like a self alignment, like you one aligns with oneself, but at the same time, that alignment helps with the greater self, like you're at the right time at the right moment, right? At, at the right place at the right moment. So there's that synchronicity and that, that, that's the outcome of that balance because I believe it's that alignment helps you. You're just talking about another level of balance, which we'll touch on a bit next week. And that's when uh, this uh, balance, better character, let's call them yourself, let's use the word character. Uh, that one's more squared away. The situation it's in, the world it's in, the universe it's in, will start to dance with it. There's a harmony, a bigger harmony between uh, this character and the realm, realm and the character, where we're getting into bigger universal dialogue here. So stop, you're getting ahead of me. Somebody? Uh, Sensei, this is Bob. Yeah. I noticed the dramatic difference between the beginning where the eye was still trying to control the movement and as things relaxed and opened, how huge the difference was when, when that relaxed allowed the movement to happen, and then there was time for experiencing the eye. Yeah. It was just huge difference. Oh, yeah. And that's why it would behoove us to uh, settle down a bit first, settle open, whatever words, again, you want to use, make a little room, uh, easy, whatever word you want to use. So that when we start to practice, we're already at a better level where the balance can happen better. And this guy can come more alive. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, 
So you learn to do it. Let's say, let's say you're going to class. Don't wait till you're on the mat to start. Can't you start on the drive to the dojo to settle? Can't you uh, get into it more as you're changing your clothes in the dressing room? So that by the time you hit the mat, you're there in, a, in the way that we would like you to be there. Um, open, clear, ready to do anything, balance, and yeah, that you're, you're already there. Mm. So yeah, yeah, big difference. Mm. And don't try to do this stuff from an eye place. Uh, got to settle a bit, got to open a bit. Uh, the eye is a controller. That's the one that I'm going to, I'm going to hit harder. I'm going to control this boken or golf club or uh, this lady or whatever. Stop it. <laughs> uh, hey, Tom, how you doing? Come on, Tom, you're my philosopher. Say something. I can't hear you. He's trying to unmute. Tom? No. Here we go. So, no. hi, Sensei. Oh, there he is. Yes, Tom. You know, some days I'll, uh, to instill a sense of balance in my day, uh, I always brush my teeth with my right hand. So, some days I'll try it with my left hand to see if I can wake something up. And I, I tend to you know, experiment during the day where I'm always, I'm right-handed and I try to do things with my left side to wake up things that are asleep. I, I consider it like catching myself not breathing. And I find that a way of instilling a, a balance that is, um, it's subtle, a subtle balance that, I, that, that we forget about sometimes. Do you have any exercises or things that you do that well, you could recommend that would help us wake up that part that's sleeping, that's, 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 uh, about the self sleeping. Yeah. That's keeping us from really being in balance. I know in practice on the mat, we always do a left and then a right. And then we take a moment to see how that feels and ground with it. So I'm just wondering what other things you would recommend for us. Ah. Well, I like what you said about brushing your teeth. Uh, you see, I told people before, play games. I mean, when I, I give a dumb example, I think last week, I, I locked myself in a room with a fly. <laughs> and I had to settle and get into his wavelength so I could put up my finger and call him and he'd land on my finger. Right. And fly away, I'd wait a bit and call him again and being there, he'd be there. Uh, I played dumb games. So here he is. He's brushing his teeth with his left hand. I mean, how dumb can you get? But that's what we do. We play dumb games. <laughs> but they have a purpose. <laughs> okay. So, uh, games. I don't know. I, I, think, I think some of the simple basics uh, go for a walk. But just acknowledge you're doing left and right and set up some pattern where, where you can compare, balance, whatever. Uh, I, I was surprised that first practice I did just raising the arms and left and right. Uh, I was surprised how much I got out of that. I, I don't think I've done raise my arms in that manner ever or forever or for 20 years or whatever. But I was surprised at just in doing that how much change there was here. Yeah. So, uh, you know, create your own game. Um, uh, left, right is a simple way of doing it. It's kind of obvious. Uh, positive, receptive, step back, step in. Uh, one that I used to use in uh, when I owned my house on Sleeper Avenue, uh, I had a narrow, long kitchen, and I walk a few steps forward, 
and then I'd walk a few steps backwards. And at first, of course, the backward walk was awkward as hell. But after some minutes, uh, the backward walk became almost as comfortable as the forward walk. And what always happened right about there, there'd suddenly be a click, and there was this hell of a nice center. I didn't make it up, it was just there. So anytime I got that balance, uh, bing, I was more centered. That was me, self-centered, character, whatever. Uh, so dumb practice, but it happened every time. It was great. <laughs> Walking back and back, forward and backwards. So, I don't know, create your own games. I don't remember what I, I, I used to do something dumb, like sit at my kitchen table and move a glass of water or something from here to here with my left and then here to there with my right and just sit and settle. And I would just keep doing that ever so long. I don't remember now what I was going for with that, but just that balance practice of left hand moving the glass, easy right hand moving the glass easy settle and i'm sure i got a lot out of it because i know i did that quite a lot <laughs> so that's the best i can say tom okay <laughs> anybody want to jump in on that linda hi this is linda from san diego yeah, I've got a the perfect time to practice to make up silly games like that. Um, I have to do some really boring PT exercises for my knee, about an hour's worth every day. And um, this would be like the perfect opportunity to do them on each side and see how I feel and do them again and you know, take that practice, combine the two practices. Yeah, we got one side bad knee. My right side. I have to do the exercises okay. on both. Basic strengthening yeah. for stability. Yeah. And there's probably some relationship. What's, what's the uh, Feldenkrais, is it? Where you got a bad side, but they work the good side? <laughs> is that, is it? So that the left side says, oh, okay, and it starts to mimic. <laughs> so uh, you kind of hinted at that by saying doing both knees or something, yeah. Uh, Anyway, something there, yeah? We have Feldenkrais people on, but I don't think we have to go into detail unless they want to jump in. Hi, Sensei, it's Maybe. Mike from New Zealand. Yeah. I was just going to comment on um, being very aware of the, the way I walk and stand, just because it certainly affects how my knees react. And, and noticing one, oh, not, but noticing over a period of time, that I actually couldn't bear any weight onto the ball of my foot. I didn't matter what I did, the weight wouldn't go there. Now, once I, and I, I would try really hard to get it to shift, but it wouldn't. But be, over a period of time, as I just constantly noticed it, I found my body was actually adjusting without me pushing it, just by noticing it and allowing the body to recognize, I guess, the shortcoming it did actually change. And, and I can now actually put weight through, my, through the balls of my feet. Yeah. See, if the body is set a certain way, I would surmise, uh, making this up because I don't know, uh, the body's on a particular thing, the ball of the foot can't contact. If you want the ball of the foot to contact, the framework up here has got to readjust for that to happen. So, Kind of makes sense to me that that your body frame had to change yeah see sometimes we we try to correct the obvious thing when it's something else a katcha you were on this is right up her alley uh miss ah pilates um mike was just saying he couldn't touch the ball of his foot, but then he noticed eventually his body frame changed and then the ball of the foot could hit. And I was just saying, 
uh, yeah, sometimes we look at the obvious and try to correct the obvious when it's based on something else. Can you say something intelligent? Yeah. No, I was talking about the theory of something before something. Yeah. yeah. That's all you're going to say is yeah? Well, I'm trying to explain you. Oh, okay. okay. The body Yeah. Yeah. I think the same thing I said. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're out. We got a couple of minutes if you want. Anything? Anything? Oh, I used to do a left-right practice. I may have mentioned it once. Uh, I had this uh, for a couple of years at least. Uh, I heard that uh, left no nostril breathing was more receptive and right nostril breathing was more positive. So I thought, huh. So I began to play. So all day long from morning till night, uh, I would breathe through my left. And at night when I was sleeping, I breathe through my right. So it took me a while to establish this pattern, but it wasn't that hard. And it got really good by itself. In the morning, I knew it was morning when I was in bed sleeping because suddenly my uh, left side would shift my right side. To my, I could feel my left nostril kick in and start, and I knew it was time to get up. It was morning. Uh, so anyway, so I did that as a, a balance practice. Okay. Uh, what I didn't do was overtly check myself and see what self was getting out of that. But I knew if it was balanced, it was cool. But I didn't put an extra tap like we're doing today. And how do you feel? Tell me about you. You should be the new person now because of the balance you should have been affected. Okay. So, uh, anyway. Uh, anybody, anything? Tisha, back to you again for a moment. Uh, anything on balance in your uh, arena? Yeah, I'm uh, sensei. I'm very impressed with the fluid nature of balance. And when we did the first uh, exercise this evening, uh, that had the positive, the receptive, and the positive, what that very quickly opened up into was feeling that the full th three dimensions of receptive or positive would take place. So it's going forward. It's not just a frontal forward positive it was a whole system opening positive yeah i like that a whole yeah. system see the the lesser people the tight eye folks they will project themselves forward and they'll go back kind of wishy-washy that's why the macho guys don't like receptive they think it's wishy-washy but what you catch what you're saying this full this say that again yeah, so it would open, the positive opens in all directions. It's a, it's a 360, you know, spherical positive. It's not just a frontal positive. Yeah. And receptive is not just coming into the yeah. front. It's all the dimensions, you know, kind of drawing in. So it, it really changes the, the nature of balance, the nature of uh, what we consider receptive and positive. So I, I came into that this evening as we were practicing that and really appreciating that nature. Now for the eye level people, uh, because they know what is positive or they think they know what is positive receptive and that's the end of it. Oh yeah, positive is pushing, receptive is uh, easing back a bit. They'll never get to what you're talking about. They'll never get to that level because they've already, I got that. Mm -hmm. Positive is talking, receptive is listening, got it. And, and they don't 
use it properly for this to not develop, but to show that it's developed. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and balance, of course, as you as you very well said, is not a static state. It's not like, oh yeah, now I'm I'm not balanced and now I'm balanced. So we we are we're in a relationship with with the flow, with the yin and yang, or whatever you want to call it, the positive re receptive, and its dimensions, its its abilities to open up and um, and express in the ways that that I've talked about, that you've talked about. The full, the fuller dimension of expansion, the fuller dimension of receptivity. Yeah, that's a whole discussion in itself there where, let's say we get in balance, but the creation system we're in is still beating back and forth. <laughs> huh. uh, so uh, I, I'm going to have the words down now, but we could have a discussion about that. How do you, do you retain your balance for a little while, but then be prepared? to uh, adjust to the beats of creation absolutely, and balance again. Uh, that's a whole discussion in itself. Mm -hmm. By the way, I sense I said something about that, about it. It's always, it's constantly moving, something like that. So it's something akin to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. We finishing up or you got anything out there, folks? Sensei, um, what Teja was saying, reminded me, this is Tom uh, again. Um, what I like to do on the mat when I first get there is this roll, this uh, rolling exercise. I love that one, yeah. And, and it's, it's kind of like the first thing to wake my system up. And it has a sort of, as Tejo was saying, a sort of breathing out and a breathing in. And, and then there seems to be a balance that gets created um, in, in my energy uh, with just, just the rolling on the mat. If the folks remember, I had Katya do that one quite a time ago in the Zoom class. Uh, but that going back, coming forward, not I go back. If, if you're doing I, we'll see it, because when you go back, you'll go like that. <laughs> and not only is it a bad habit of I, but you're going to hit your head on the cement one day. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a more of a flow through the body back after a bit. And its partner flows up the other way. Now, as those two are more in sync, again, we should spend more time with who are you now? You're a different person now. Feel yourself, sense yourself. So yeah, uh, uh, but that's a that's a nice practice of rolling back and forth. Uh, again, the lesser people. Ah, sorry, it's the way I talk. Uh, we'll do that as a physical exercise. We rock back and forth. Okay, I know how to fall. Now you say, wait, there's a whole world of something here. You get into finer dimensions of self, which then manifest in finer dimensions of flowing. Uh, so there's a whole, uh, it can open up to a whole world, that simple back and forth rock and roll. If you play the game, settle and open, it's, there's a lot going on there. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Tom. Anything? Patrick, any uh, a different sense of the word balance in your uh, business? Uh, people being, getting more balance, which helps them mentally. Is that there, you, you got anything in, around in there? I'm not thinking of anything in particular, Sensei. What it, about that? I don't know if this relates, but I, as I've been listening to everybody, I've just been aware of my own breathing and just sort of a greater awareness of it and a comfort with it um, that just seems to have come from listening and participating this evening. 
but somehow it feels like just the simple act of breathing is uh, is important to me. And I, as I'm, as I've been listening to, I've been aspiring to be a balanced guy in the world, and it feels like breathing relates to that in some way. Okay, and we go moon in for half an hour, and TJ probably would like to jump in, but basically, uh, uh, see the breathing is exhale and inhale. You got two, so you use it. At first, I breathe, I'm exhaling, I'm inhaling. Yeah, I had the dumb level. It's okay, you gotta start someplace. But as you're easy and settle, the, the breath changes, the beats, the sense of it's for like a word size. Uh, the exhale, inhale, get more. In, if you were to count them off, you know, 10 exhales, 10 inhales gets to be pretty easy to do because they're they're partnering up in balance. Okay. And as the that gets better and better, the self, especially if we acknowledge the self, okay, and at first of course, oh I'm a better breather. Yes, yes, yes. That's an of course, but tell me about you. I want something more deeper sense of you. So it's true, you breathe better, uh, but you're just scratching the surface there. If you've been doing a breathing exercise or allowing breathing, inhale, exhale for a while, this has changed. And the breathing one should show you that change pretty quick. Uh, Pete, you got anything to say on that real quick? Yeah, sure, of course. That's, that's a, a great observation that Patrick made. Um, I feel that the the qualities of the breath become more present as we become more present. And so you get qualities like a certain fineness, a smoothness, a softness, a depth, a quietness, a fullness, uh, all kind of in the, in the flow of natural, of natural breath, not contrived. So these are, this is the approach for for meditation it's uh it's i think it's what happens naturally when we settle in when you know i loved the the title of the theme tonight you know better balance better self is a is a way of talking about the dimensions of balance so that we can connect with and connect with those through uh uh that presence with those with those qualities and to add on or clarify, the reciprocity, be, uh, okay, as the breathing, as you're breathing, you're playing with breathing, you're sitting with breathing, as that gets better balanced, whatever, there are different levels of it, whatever, this gets better. As this gets better, the breathing will get better, or as Tisha said, show more. Shows the quality. Check back system. here. This is getting better, and then the breathing will show more. That hmm. can be uh, experienced, part partake of. <laughs> we could even say embodied. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Moon, and he likes breathing stuff. Moon, quick moment. Anything to say? Breathe. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. No, I don't have much to add. I think you've, you've covered most of it. The only um, thing I just echo that sense of fluidity that um, Tisha kind of pointed to, that when you hit that point of balance, the ability to move increases dramatically. You're talking about physical movement. I'm actually talking in every dimension, certainly starting with the physical. I'm just saying, you know, I, you've I, got I, the yeah. balance with whatever's going on for you emotionally to move into a better state. You've got to get into balance with whatever's going on for you, you know, in terms of your, your energy state, whatever. But I just, I think you've hit it pretty well. I really didn't have that much to add. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the reason I had to question you was because we we're talking about breathing. So I called you in as a breathing 
devotee, uh, but you you brought in better balance. This unit can dance across the mat floor and move well, which is one of your four four. Well, I would add in that the same thing that you know the strain that one feels uh, in their breath. And I'd go back to Tom's comment that he finds during the day, he, he realized he's not breathing. I, I have the same thing. And, and even though I've studied it, and I think that that sense of finding a place where the in and the out, they don't have to balance uh, in, in the most obvious way. But there's just a feeling when you're in balance, your oxygen absorbs through the whole system. You know, every, in every dimension we're going to talk about, it starts to bring a fullness and an ease. And I think this is what we said when we talked last time about the consistency of that. When, when you cross over, that's the same thing you want there. Yeah, breathing eventually, if you're going to be a universal being, if you're going to be a sensei plus, uh, the whole universe, creation, is breathing. <laughs> So we're starting here with I breathe, but then you settle and you open up and there's a different level of breathing and then you continue and, but eventually the whole universe is pulsing. <laughs> so uh, whatever you want to do with that. Ah, I just I, it away. I don't expect you to do a universal breathing tomorrow. Are we finished for tonight? Sounds good. Everybody okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great Thank session, you. Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Fantastic. Thank you, Sensei. Good night. Thank you, Sensei. Good night. Yoshka, I've got to ask you about your doing with your